so all in all, this is what it cost me to get uh, the tires mounted and balanced and a fresh set of the stock Pirelli P0s on the Huracan. So 1,657 bucks. So what you guys witnessed is apparently maybe the theory is because they can't figure out what exactly happened. You saw kind of how the rim was like warped on the inside. Maybe during the powder coating process, it uh, you know made the aluminum a little bit weaker because you know these are forged aluminum rims on the Huracan that are really really light. But I don't know, right? Maybe some one of you can comment what you think happened. I don't know the pressure that we put on the tires after we mounted them was literally the stock recommendation. So it wasn't like we messed up. I have no idea. Luckily I have my other wheels here so we can literally switch them and there was really no damage done at all. It just looked worse than it actually was. So there is a learning lesson in what happened with my Lamborghini. Now I know some of you are like, Brian, everything that happens to you, you could have your leg chopped off. It's a learning lesson. Look, it's all about perspective and frame, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if I can demonstrate to you guys live how I'm quote, dealing with the situation, it further gives you the guideline to do it yourself because I've said it before, the biggest way we get motivated is and inspired is seeing somebody go through something or do something, right, that we would like to do or aspire to be. That's the ignition, I guess you can say, right? So shout out to my event that's gonna be next weekend. Now, you know, uh, overall, I don't know what happened. Obviously, you guys saw the, the rim got warped a little bit. I really think it was a defect that maybe occurred after powder coating the rims. Maybe it uh, lowered it, uh, the structural integrity of the, um, or compromised it, right, of the rim. I have no idea. The wrap shop owner, which I know his son, he's like, dude, I've been here 21 years. I've never seen a, a rim warp like that on the inside. So luckily the SEMA wheels are ready. They didn't fit, so they had to go get uh, spacers and, and such. Car is at AeroWorks right now. Had a few, out of three out of the five lug nuts got a little bit messed up from when I put it on the tow truck and, and put it out. Just that little bit of driving kind of messed it up a little bit. The hub and everything else is fine. There's no more damage, but it is a pretty big inconvenience. You know, I just dropped almost 1700 bucks on new tires and everything. And now to have to go through this is a pain. I got to get the lug nuts from uh, Newport, Lambo Newport tomorrow. I'm going to call and also, um, I got to get a new wheel too. I love the OEM wheels. The SEMA wheels look cool. I'll show you guys in a different video. However, I do like the uh, stock wheels so much better. So uh, I'll give you guys an update once it's up. Uh, of course, this situation kind of sucks, but at the same time, I'm glad nothing happened to the rim while I was driving or something like that. Again, it's all perspective, guys. I know this uh, video could be uh, misconstrued as negative, but it really isn't. It's just something that happened. Was I a little bit, I, I wouldn't say I was mad, I was more annoyed, right? Because it took a you know a four or five chunk hour a segment out of my day which could have been a lot more productive I still made some videos and did some stuff but um, overall you know it is what it is these are things that you can't really control I trust the wrap shop and uh, the tire shop that actually changed the wheel I have no bad blood with them um, I do think maybe it was a defect in the rim but anyways I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one